Welcome to Sleepy Eyes. I am your host, Varga. I take you on a journey in the dark of the night with warm tales. Take a moment to relax your body and mind with the current calmness. Breathe deeply, feel the energy inside, and let go of any tiredness. Put aside the past and focus on the peacefulness of the present moment. Recognize any tension in your body. Allow it to fade away and unwind. Discover your inner peace and simply unwind in the tranquility of now. Before going to sleep, prepare to read a story comfortably in this peaceful setting. Let the magic of words captivate you as you get lost in a tale or story. With the warmth from this peace and relaxation, your sleep will become even more serene. Close your eyes, embark on a journey with a touch of words. Let each word guide you a bit deeper toward the essence of your inner peace. Now, relax and enjoy the pleasure of getting lost in the enchanting world of the story before drifting into sleep. Silhouettes of Serafina by Sleepy Eyes In a realm where reality swirled with fantasy and time danced to a syncopated rhythm, stood the Shatton Gallery. The mystical establishment hung on the edge of existence, tucked away within a twilight where shadow's universe outshone the light. It was a place where art breathed, bled, and spoke volumes deeper than any mortal tongue. And at the heart of it all, woven into the very essence of the gallery, was its shrouded guardian, Serafina Voss. Serafina moved, a graceful apparition, among her paintings, veiling her vulnerability behind her passion. Each canvas became a conduit, allowing her to pour out the maze of her heart and thorned past onto the colorful medium. Her art, her pieces of soul, would then inhabit the gallery, infusing it with an intangible pulse an echo of Serafina's heartbeat, days merged into a nebulous chronology, and time, adhering to the rules of the gallery, unfurled itself uniquely. Shadows elongated and shrunk, casting surreal patterns that mirrored the indomitable spirit of Serafina. Her hands, stained with countless colors, would dance across the canvas, each stroke a whisper of her soul, each shade a fragment of her memory. Visitors would wander into the realm of the Shatton Gallery, beguiled by the promise of an encounter with extraordinary art. The refracted light that danced through the stained glass windows would wash over the uninitiated, making them a part of the surreal ambience. The peculiar time, oscillating and fluid, would make the world outside wilt and wither into seeming insignificance as they immersed themselves in Serafina's artistic symphony, the healing commenced. An unspoken incantation seemed to resonate within each artwork, reaching inside the spectators, touching their hidden wounds and stitching them up with the silken threads of empathy and understanding. They would leave altered, carrying within them a silent trace of Serafina and a piece of the Shatton Gallery. Serafina could feel herself within her art patrons, intertwined, undergoing the same catharsis. It was as though they were sculpted by the same disguised divinity, wounded and healed by the shared melancholic symphony. Every encounter, every healing, was like peeling off an aged bandage from her past, giving her a renewed sense of clarity and acceptance. Her life seemed to weave into a beautifully chaotic mural, a kaleidoscope of color, passion, loss, healing, and acceptance. Her journey was a living testament to her strength, and the Shatton Gallery, a reflection of her soul, stood as an emblem of her resilience. As the twilight slowly surrendered to the embrace of the night, Serafina sat in the midst of her creation, a saint of art in her sanctuary, a curator of shadows in her gallery. The mystic kingdom of Shatan hummed in resonance with her every emotion, echoing the powerful ballad of Serafina's heart. 
each masterpiece she birthed healed, each stroke on the canvas was a war she won against her past, each moment an elegy to her transformation. And so, amidst the ever-changing silhouettes of the Shatton Gallery, Serafina continued to live, thrive, and create, her spirit unbound by the rules of mere time, and her heart carried on the wings of her art. For she was, and forever would be, the mysterious melody that bathed the surreal kingdom of the Shatton Gallery in ethereal balm.